Hello everyone! What is going on? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. And this is episode 154, part 3. Now if you guys have missed any of the action in the previous two parts, then do make sure to head on over and give them a watch. Now, as you can see, we are kicking off part three of the show with a one-on-one -on -one match from the men's division. And it'll be David Labby going one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Mundo, representing the Showstoppers. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. <clears throat> now, if you guys do enjoy this one, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike. Slap any comments below, and do be sure to consider subscribing to my channel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Florida. Weighing in at 250 pounds, David. Making his way down to the ring first, David Labby. And what a contest we're expected to be in for here, folks. David Labby and Bobby Mundo squaring off. Not the first time these two have gone one on one. In fact, earlier on in his career in BUW, David Labby actually defeated Bobby Mundo while Bobby Mundo was world champion. And I'm sure uh, David Labby will love to try and make it two in a row over the former world champion. David Labby slowly making a name for himself as a singles wrestler. Still looking for that elusive singles championship. David Labby has held tag team gold here in BUW. But yet to grab that brass ring as they say. A win over Bobby here. Could be one step closer. And his opponent from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 287 pounds, Bobby. And his opponent, making his way down to the ring, representing the showstoppers, Bobby Mundo. And Bobby Mundo is the first time we've seen him in singles competition for a few weeks. He's been more focused in the tag team division with his tag team partner TM. Recently had a, has had a couple of reigns with the undisputed BUW Tag Team Championships. <clears throat> He's been demanding this match for quite some time and now he is ready. And of course Bobby Mondo has not forgotten that time that David Labby knocked him off in a singles match. Nowadays Bobby Mondo and David Labby should really be 
face enough on pay-per-view, but uh, but here you go. Anyway, this match is underway. David Labby with a swinging net breaker. Rapid fire right hands. A kick from Bobby Mundo. But mind you, uh, David Labby is does have his eyes set on the Global Championship, which is currently being held by Jesse. And of course, not oh, wait a second, a pin attempt. <clears throat> Just a one count, and Bobby can't believe it. And David Labby taking on the first ever BUW Global Champion. And David Labby defending himself, but there goes Labby over the top rope. Bobby Mondo meeting David on the outside. Downward spiral. Headbutt to Labby. Oh, and Labby catches the foot of Mundo, and Bobby answers back. And back and forth between the two in the early stages. <clears throat> High angle back suplex from Labby. And David posing in front of the fans here. Oh, and Bobby kicks in the midsection, delivers a DDT. Bobby returns to the ring. And look at Bobby showing off the showing off the guns. Lock up. Snake eyes. Bobby Mundo hooks a leg. Just a one count. And again, Bobby can't believe it. <clears throat> Bobby top rope. Nope. Bobby had second thoughts about taking a risk. Now David Labby is taking control of the matchup. The lockup. Kick to the knee. DDT. Stump on the arm. And David Labby looking for a submission hold. Will he be able to make Bobby Mundo submit here? Referee's asking if he wants to quit. Bobby, well, he doesn't give up that easily. He was able to counter the submission. Kicks it on the knee once more. Another DDT. <clears throat> David Labby in full control of this match. Oh, gets caught from Mundo. Dragon screw counter. Stomp on the elbow. And Bobby Mundo, the spinning sidewalk slam. Oh, and Bobby, not satisfied delivering it once, delivers it twice. Heads to the top rope. Oh, what a frog splash. Hooks the leg. And just gets a one count, and Bobby can't believe it. Bobby fired up. Getting some real momentum into this match. Taking the match to David Labby. Fireman's carry position. Snake eyes and I'll do it yet. David Labby. You see that laceration on the left side of his face. And now Bobby choking out Labby. Referee asking Bobby to back off. And David Labby back up, looking to take control. And Bobby Mundo in a precarious spot here, folks. And David Labby, I think he was maybe looking to powerbomb Bobby to the outside, but he took too long. 
And there's that backbreaker. Labby into the pin. Just a one count. DDT. And now he's picking apart Bobby limb by limb. And there is the seek and destroy. Hooks both legs. And David Labby has scored another big win here tonight. And this time it's the expense of Bobby Mundo. Great matchup, Bobby with that huge frog splash. Thought it was going to be it right there, just a one count. And David Labby took control after he got busted open. Picked apart Bobby with the modified stomps. And one seeker destroyed later, it's all over. So here is your winner of the match, David Labby. And what a win that is. And as I mentioned before, David Labby, he is still after that global championship. So of course, will he get that opportunity? And I'm sure the global champion, Jesse, was watching wherever he is. That's a huge win for Labby. And Labby's not going to take no for an answer when it comes to the Global Championship. But anyway, moving on to our next match. We've got a bit of action from the women's division coming your way next. And it involves both women who are looking to bounce back with a win here tonight. And this one, it will be... Maria Rose. She's going one-on-one. -on -one. We have Kissable Demon. And of course, Kissable Demon representing Demons by Design. Making her way down to the ring first, Maria Rose. Maria Rose looking to bounce back after a disappointment at Summer Bash, where she lost to Victoria Wolf. So actually both these ladies that are we're about to see, looking to bounce back after the disappointing losses at Summer Bash. Looking to rebound, get back on the horse as they say. But we know Maria Rose will get there by hook or by crook. <laughs> Fire. And from the pits of hell, unbreakable. And her opponent making her way down to the ring, representing Demons by Design, Kissable Demon. 
And White for it. <laughs> Fire. Okay, so Damon also looking to rebound from a disappointing summer bash loss. Where Pinky and Kissable Demon were unable to win the women's tag team titles. So both women got something to prove here tonight. <clears throat> and Kissable Demon getting off to a quick start. Takes flight. Look at that frog splash. With a pin. And immediately gets a two count. So of course now with Alley Cat, the number one contender to the women's world title, both these women will have to up their game. Maria Rose, who of course has been to the mountain top twice before. Oh wait a second, look at this. The rocker dropper. Oh Maria gets caught, a spine buster from Kissable Demon. Stomp on the knee, and a kick to the face. And a kick to the back of the knee. Another kick to the back of the knee. Maria Rose kicks off Kissable Demon. Waist lock. Lean against the ropes. And Kissable Demon looking to pick apart Maria Rose. <clears throat> Miss with the roundhouse kick. Snap mirror takedown. Follows it up with a rolling neck snap. Kissable Demon kicking Maria Rose off. Lock up. Double arms hooked. Into a butterfly suplex. And Kissable Demon stomping away on Maria. And again, Kissable, top rope. She's going to take another risk. Maria Rose gets called to her feet. Takes flight. Oh, completely misses the drop kick. A little bit overzealous there. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Snake eyes the kissable demon. Maria Rose looking to get back into the matchup. And the leg drop. Oh, kissable demon. Make a wish. Maria Rose looking for a submission perhaps, but Kissable able to get her off. Fisherman suplex. Kick to the back. And Kissable Demon firing up the fans here. Hooks the leg. Just a one count and Kissable can't believe it. Looking to head to the top rope. Takes flight, looks for the frog splash for the second time, but this time round, Maria got her knees up. Right hand, a chop. Follows up with a jawbreaker. Stomp on the elbow. Another stomp on the elbow. And another stomp. Maria into the cover. Not even a one count. Lock up. Kissable Demon sent into the corner. And Maria stomping a mud hole in Kissable Demon and walking it dry. Lock up. Maria Rose now gets whipped into the corner. And what's Kissable Demon thinking here? Oh, look at this! The, the head scissors. Kissable Demon fired up again. And Kissable Demon with the last chancery. Will she be able to make Maria tap? Maria. She might not have anywhere to go but tap, tap, tap. But wait a second. Maria able to fight out. The lock up. A shot to the back. And again to the back. 
Oh no, Kissable Demon head first off the canvas. And another shot into the canvas and look at Maria Rose. Not afraid to take a shortcut. Nice takedown from Kissable Demon. And Kissable with those lethal kicks. There's the roundhouse. Hooks the leg. Well, wait a second. There's a pin. One count. And Kissable Demon can't believe it. Some miscommunication there, it seems. Oh, Kissable Demon, what's she looking for here? Flatliner. Kissable Demon. Top rope. Having second thoughts here. Maria counters. And Kissable Demon gets caught. The hammerlock DDT hooks the leg. Will this be enough? No! Kissable Demon kicks out at two and Maria cannot believe it. Now we know what Maria's thinking here. She's got to be thinking crossroads. Oh, Kissable Demon doing her homework. Takedown from Maria, the right hands. Misses with the boots. Fall away slam. Kissable Demon, top rope now. Calling Maria to her feet. Kiss of the demon. She hits it. Hooks the leg. And Kissable Demon picks up a huge victory. And she just pinned a former BUW World Champion. What a matchup that was. I'm absolutely stunned. That's a huge upset. Thought. Maria Rose had it there at that hammerlock DDT. Hook the leg. So nice, we get to see it twice. Maria going for the pin. And Kissable Demon kicks out at two. There's a kiss of the demon. Here is your <laughs> Fire. So here is your winner of the match. Representing demons by design. Kissable Demon. And what a way to get back to winning ways. And you've got to hope that the rest of the women's locker room is watching. Great way to get back to winning ways for Kissable Demon. Well, of course, we've got to focus on our next matchup, guys, and it'll be our last match before we take our final break of the show. And from the men's division once more, it will be Davy Roche representing the Nexus Nation. And they'll be going one on one with a new BUW YouTube champion Hunter representing the experience. And of course, uh, Davey Roche's tag team partner, Nash Okur, will invoke his rematch clause against Hunter at our next BUW pay-per-view, which is BUW Revenge. And of course, Davey Roche was actually the last person to beat Hunter in a one-on-one -on -one match, so... Davey could potentially put himself in a title contention with a victory here.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Rochester, New York. Weighing in at 198 pounds. Dave! About to enter the ring first. Representing the Nexus Nation. Davey Roche. And as we mentioned before this matchup, well, before the matchup gets started, Davy Roche, as that was actually the last person to pin Hunter in a match. And that was before Hunter won the YouTube Championship. Can Davy Roche get another win over Hunter, but this time while he's champion? Do you smell what the Roche is cooking? And his opponent from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 226 pounds, the Internet Champion, Hunter. Making his way down to the ring next, representing the experience, the BUW YouTube Champion, Hunter. Hunter winning his first YouTube Championship back at Summer Bash in quite convincing fashion. Hunter in the last few months has just been on another level. Former world champion, first ever United States champion in BUW history. A former tag champion. Former Mr. Journey to Gold ladder match winner. squaring off for the second time in the space of a few weeks and here we go and can Davy Roche do what he pulled off a few weeks ago against Hunter and get a victory but Hunter starting off very quickly just gets a one count baseman drop kick to the back and a kick to the spine of Roche and another kick. Targeting the left arm. The chops. And a shot to the midsection. Davy Roche with some rapid fire right has busted open the YouTube champion. Look at this. Stomping a mud hole. Hooks the leg. And Hunter kicks out at two, and Davey can't believe it. Stomp on the elbow. Kick to the back. Head into the top rope. Oh, what, wait, what the hell happened there? Davey gets caught. And gets a one count, does Hunter, and he couldn't believe it, but that was... Don't know what happened there, folks. Davy Roche. Head first off the turnbuckle. And look out! Explode a suplex! Waist lock data roll. And 
Hunter able to counter Roche. Hooks the leg. And Davey kicks out at one. And again, Hunter can't believe it. Counter from Roche. Rapid fire right. Elbow to the face. Another elbow to the face. And another one. Stomp on the elbow. Roche heads to the top rope. Switches himself round. Moonsault. Hooks the leg. What a win this could be for Roche. Oh! Near fall for Davey. Nearly beating Hunter twice in a row. Not many people can say they have beaten Hunter twice in a row. And Hunter the left. The YouTube champion striking back. The float over into a version of the crossroads. Hooks the leg. And then one count only. Does Hunter have some doubts in his mind? Can he defeat Davy Roche? Basement drop kick to the spine. Elbow drop, no one home. Davy Roche could have. Oh no, oh power bomb. I was going to say Roche could have Hunter right where he wants him. But things are not about to end very well for Roche. The dude buster. Hunter now. Hooking the leg for the win. And Roche kicks out at two. And again, Hunter cannot believe it. His frustration setting in for the YouTube champion. But there is Hunter. The Hunter escape. Is Roche set to tap? He lets him out. I don't know how wise that was. A springboard moonsault. Hunter wasting valuable time. Takes flight, the splash. Hooks both legs. And he gets the victory. But I think Hunter might have rode a little bit of luck there. Looking back at some of this amazing action between these two superstars. Just phenomenal. Davy Roche coming close to defeating Hunter for the second time in as many weeks. But Hunter found, again finds another way to get back into the match. Finds another way to win once again. And this was the end there, the splash. Hooks the leg. Here is your winner, Hunter. And here is your winner of the match, representing the experience, the BUW YouTube champion, Hunter. And look at the state of Hunter. He got busted open earlier on in the match. He might have a broken nose. And might require a couple of stitches. I don't think that will bother him too much. But anyway folks. We are going to end part 3 here. So if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far. Then do be sure to leave a like for Mike. Slap in your comments below. And do be sure to consider subscribing to my channel. But the action for this week folks is not yet over. We've still got two huge matchups, including our next contest, which will be for the BUW World Championship as Hunter's tag team partner Matt Moody, looking to make history once again, looking to become a six-time BUW World Champion against the Dark Dominator Jack Styles. Can he do it? I guess you'll just have to tune in and wait and see. So don't you dare miss a second of that action or the rest of the action here in this week's episode. So until then... Do take care, and I will see you guys after this final break.